Hello everybody, this is Gusto again, and I have another review today. This is the third part of the comparative review series on the Spaghetti with Meat Sauce Long Range Patrol Rations. Most recently I've reviewed a 1976 to 1979 Long Range Patrol food packet, and also a 1998 version of the same entree, which was Spaghetti with Meat Sauce. And today's ration will be the Food Packet Long Range Patrol Menu 8 Spaghetti with Meat Sauce. So again, this is the same main item, but a different time period. So the first one was from 1976 to 1979, the second one was from 1998, and this one is around 2013. This is the most recent version of this food packet. So if we look at the exterior packaging, we can see that um, the material is the same, the design on the front is a little bit different, uh, and the menu number has changed from 6 to 8, but the entree is still spaghetti with meat sauce. This is still packaged by the Warnock Company, but it's since relocated from McAllen, Texas to Cincinnati, Ohio between 1998 and 2013. So if we look for external date codes, we still don't find any external date codes on the food packet, but we'll find out on the inside. So the differences with this meal packet, you don't have the repeating text on the front like you did in the 1976 to 1979 and the 1998. They were, they were all repeating text printing on the plastic bag. This one actually has a full individualized design on the front of the package. And it has a peelable seal, which is different from the last two that I reviewed. So let's go ahead and break into this thing. Seems like the material is a little bit tougher than the typical US MREs, but it does have that peelable seal and it opens fairly easily. So there's the contents. Alright, so first is the main entree, and this is freeze dried spaghetti with meat sauce. Kind of hard to read the ingredients, but we'll get to that later. Again, I think this is packaged by Oregon Freeze Dry, but it's not marked on the packaging. And if we look for the external date code, it is a 2020, so the 20th day of 2012, not 2013 like I thought. But that's okay. We have a package of plain M&Ms. We have a beverage-based lemonade for a half liter bottle. There is a chocolate peanut butter spread, and you can find these in the regular MREs, and it's pretty tasty. There is a accessory pack, which looks similar to the usual US MREs. It has a date code of 2109, again, 2012, 109th day. The nut raisin mix. And there's the ingredients and vegetable crackers. Also comes with a modern USMRE spoon. So let's get the main entree rehydrating and the rest of the contents out on a tray. Okay, so for the main entree, this is the freeze-dried spaghetti with meat sauce. And I think this is packaged by Oregon Freeze-Dry, unless something's changed that I didn't know about, the long range and the cold weather rations are still packaged by Oregon Freeze Dry. So if you look at the packaging, it says to add 16 ounces of water. Usually you add a little bit less than that, otherwise it will be a little bit soupy. And also, if you look here, there's a tear notch there. Don't be fooled by that. If you try to rip that down the side, you're going to open up the bag all the way down and not be able to put any water in there. So I'm going to cut it across the top instead. There's that nice vacuum hiss. If you do make a mistake and rip it all the way down the side, you can actually rehydrate it in the main pouch. If you look at uh, Sticky Fingers 745, uh, he actually did the same thing to a ration pack and saved it with that method. So check out Sticky Fingers 745 for that tip. Anyway, I kind of mangled that a little bit. Let's see if we can clean it up. There we go. I did make a little bit of a mistake, but I think I still have enough bag left. I don't rip it anymore. Alright, so the difference here is that there's no inner bag, 
and you see the contents are about the same appearance as the 1998 ration pack, so that still kind of supports my idea that this is still Oregon freeze dry. The contents look about the same as they did in the 1998 pack. So let's put some water in it, get it reconstituting. There's a smaller target for me to hit with the hot water, so that uh, greatly increases my chance of missing the mark and spilling. Get ready for it, Stella. Yeah, look at that. All kinds of spillage. Let's give that a little bit of a stir. So I think it's still going to be a little on the dry side. I don't think I got enough water in there yet. Pretty close. A little bit more in there. There we go. Give it a good stir. Make sure you get down in those corners, otherwise it's going to be dry in there. Looks pretty good. Okay, so there's what it looks like once it's uh, filled with water and mixed up. Let's close this bag and give it a little while to rehydrate. Meanwhile, let's get the rest out on the tray. We'll go ahead and start with the vegetable crackers. Let's see if we can get a hiss. Yeah, pretty good. These seem to be a little bit uh, harder than the regular crackers and hold together a little bit better. I say that, but they broke in half. As far as the vegetable crackers go, you see they're a little bit darker. They have a little bits of the vegetable component in the cracker. Their scent is kind of an overwhelming uh, scent of celery more than anything, I think. They do have a little bit better flavor in, in my experience. also have the chocolate peanut spread, which may be better on a different bread product or a plain cracker, but we'll use it on the vegetable cracker anyway. There's also the nut raisin mix, and if you look at the ingredients, it has peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, which are hazelnuts. So this is not vacuum packed, it's just in a sealed bag. Let's see how that looks. There you go. That brings us to the M&Ms, which are plain M&Ms. And they look just fine out of the package. Shells aren't broken down and not, the chocolate isn't exposed. And there's no reason to think that these wouldn't be just fine. Only just a little bit over four years old. As far as the accessory pack goes, let's take a look at that too. We have coffee, creamer, salt, a moist towelette, Tabasco sauce, that's a nice touch. Sugar. Matches. Now these are on the brown package. And two toilet papers. And of course, chiclets. I'm a little bit surprised that the only other beverage in this pack is a lemonade for a half liter bottle, but that's all we've got. So we'll go ahead and mix that up too. This has a tear notch right at the top for easy filling of a bottle. Go ahead and pour that in. We'll screw on the cap and give it a good shake. While we're waiting on the main entree, we'll go ahead and prepare our coffee as well. There's the Diario instant coffee, pretty typically found in the modern US MREs. It is composed of crystals. We will add the creamer as well. And the sugar packet. Some hot water. and a good stir. As for the chocolate peanut spread, 
This stuff is amazing. It tastes like uh, Nutella more than anything. We'll knead it up. It feels about the same consistency as the peanut butter. Maybe a little bit less dense. There's your ingredients if you're interested. Doesn't seem to be a great match on the vegetable crackers, but we'll try it anyway. There you go. All right, so we've given the main entree about seven or eight minutes to reconstitute. So let's go ahead and get it out and plate it up. All right, there you go. Looks pretty good. Smells about the same as the last one. Pretty strong tomato scent. But it kind of smells fresher. It smells really good. So, here we go. All right. Okay. That looks to be pretty well reconstituted. Let's get you some close-ups. So if you watched the last video, the comparison was between the Right Away Foods prepared spaghetti and meat sauce and the Oregon freeze-dried prepared spaghetti with meat sauce. And the biggest difference was the chunks of meat are a little bit bigger, the noodles are a bit, little bit longer, and there seems to be more sauce. The color of the sauce is a little bit different also. It's more red than just kind of the brownish color. Now, how much that has to do with aging, I really don't know, but the texture of the meat is definitely different. And the scent is is not as much a, you know, extremely strong tomato scent, but actually smells more like a spaghetti sauce more than anything in comparison to the older ration. So, just as pleasing, looks to be the same food item and in just about the same state as the one that was made in uh, 1998. So go back and check those videos out for a direct comparison. All right, so let's take a spin around the plate, try all these things out. We'll go ahead and start with the side items. I'm gonna start with the crackers and the chocolate peanut spread. Try a little of the cracker by itself first. It's pretty crispy. There's your texture. And that has a very good flavor to it. There's just more to the flavor of the vegetable crackers than the plain MRE crackers that are unsalted and pretty bland. As far as any individual vegetable flavor, I can't really pick them out. You can just taste something in them that, that just makes them a little bit more pleasing. Now whether or not that's going to mix very well with the chocolate peanut spread, we'll see. Go ahead and give that a shot as well. So there's a chocolate peanut spread. Looks like Nutella. About the same consistency as peanut butter. And the chocolate peanut spread is very, very tasty. Tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup but it doesn't really pair very well with the savory flavor of the crackers, but that's okay, I can overlook that. Let's try some of the nut raisin mix. Try and get a little bit of everything. Lots of peanuts, got some walnuts there. Make sure we have an almond and a filbert, which is a hazelnut. There you go. Oh. Try that again. There you go, looks pretty tasty. And the nuts are unsalted, unroasted, really no extra flavor to them. Just kind of the plain nuts, but they're nice and crunchy, fresh tasting, and uh, the raisins are soft and sweet, so pretty pleasing overall. Let's go ahead and try the main entree now. So if you look back at the other spaghetti with meat sauce reviews that I did over the last couple of days, uh, you'll, you'll see that the 1976 to 79 ration from Seal Bag Company was pretty brown. It was also packaged and produced by a different company, which is Right Away Foods or Rafco. And the sauce was of a different color and consistency. It was kind of brown. Uh, smelled a lot like just tomato sauce. Didn't really have any uh, discernible seasonings or herbs in it. It was just pretty plain. And the meat was really finely ground up and you couldn't really pick it out uh, very easily. The flavor was okay, just really really strong tomato sauce flavor. So if you look at this as well as the 1998 ration, the the meat chunks are a, little, a lot bigger. The sauce is red. The scent is, while there's still a lot of tomato scent coming through, you can actually smell the, the Italian herbs in there. And it's a lot more pleasing scent. It really just smells like spaghetti sauce.
as far as the flavor goes, it's really, really tasty. The uh, texture is very nice. The noodles are not uh, as mushy as the older rations. You can really pick out the different textures of the meat and the noodles. It's just a much more pleasing texture. The sauce, this item tastes almost identical to the one from 1998, which makes sense because they're both produced by the same company. It tastes a lot more like, like you would expect with spaghetti with meat sauce rather than just kind of the tomato sauce and noodles that you got in the older ration. It tastes pretty fresh. Overall, a very good food item, which is what I have come to expect from Oregon Freeze Dry. So for a good representation of that, uh, go to your outdoor store or sporting goods store and grab a spaghetti with meat sauce mountain house entree and that's basically the exact same thing that you're going to get here very tasty so they're just a really well made product now this does come with tabasco which is a great addition to this spicing this up would just be really really nice so i'll go ahead and add that i like food hot so i'm going to use the whole thing Now this is a change from the small bottles of Tabasco that you see in the, some of the little bit older rations. And that's a little unfortunate, but it's still the same sauce. A little bit of heat never hurt anybody. Let's mix that up and give it a shot. And it really doesn't need any salt, even though it comes with it. I'm not going to add any. It doesn't need any, especially with the Tabasco. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's much better with a little bit of heat. That's a great addition to this ration. Just transforms the flavor of the spaghetti altogether. That's just awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and try our beverages. We have the lemonade. And that's pretty good. It's uh, essentially the same thing that you can get off the store shelves as Crystal Light in the little individual packs. Tastes about the same as that. But pretty good. Cools off the mouth after that spicy spaghetti. And for the M&Ms. These look just fine. They have all the modern colors. Uh, you can see the omission of the light brown one that uh, you can see in some of the earlier 90s MREs. But uh, does have the blue. Anyway, let's give these a shot. They look fresh. No cracking or shedding of the candy shell. And the chocolate is nice and fresh on the inside. And those taste great. Pretty typical M&Ms. No problem after four years of packaging. I'm going to go ahead and try the coffee now. There you go. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty typical instant coffee. So overall, this is a great ration. Very, very good main entree, both in this one and in the 1998. The food items, the side items are a little bit different. Uh, it's kind of shifted toward the typical USMRE food items rather than the compressed bars that you saw in the uh, 1998 ration. And certainly a big addition in comparison to the 1976 to 1979 ration. There really wasn't anything other than a couple of chocolate discs and the main entree. It's nice to have some side items, certainly a lot more food energy to keep you going a little bit longer. So overall, great ration. So overall, these comparative reviews were a great experience, just comparing the different rations from different time periods. And I've traveled about, uh, and I've traveled about 35 years in time between the oldest ration and this ration, which is the most modern one. So thanks for watching. If you like these comparative reviews, I have a lot more long-range patrol rations that I'd like to kind of do the same thing if you like that. Uh, leave me some feedback in the comments. So thank you very, very much to the review community as well as the MREinfo.com community. You all have been a great help to me. So keep watching. Lots more to come, so stay tuned. So until next time, thanks again. Bye-bye.